Palestinian state at the same time, secularism could be an ideology which could impose a secular ideology on our society. So, maybe in the sense of separation between religion and uh, state, uh, there is some connection between secularism and liberalism, but they are not the same. In liberalism, uh, liberalism doesn't emphasize secularism. Liberalism, what liberalism emphasizes is plurality and religious freedom. So, uh, especially in the context of Muslim world, secularism does not mean the separation of uh, separation between religion and state. Mostly, it means that the control of religion by the state. So. Uh, and of course, generally in Muslim world, state is the agent which uh, tries to modernize society through using the power of the state. So when you modernize or uh, society through the power of the state, naturally you, you are using force, you are violating human rights, many individual freedom, and so on. So what we must know that. Uh, in the name of secularism, no ideology must be on the society. Yes, India is a very uh, interesting example. Generally, it is said that liberal democracy could only flourish in the West. But the example of uh, India showed that liberal democracy could only, uh, all could also flourish in a country which is not uh, Christian, which is not uh, belongs to Western uh, culture. India is the dominantly Hindu culture. It's very pluralistic society. I believe that uh, India is a liberal democracy because uh, based uh, individual freedom mostly respected. There is a huge uh, uh, individual liberties and so on. In Pakistan, it has, uh, as you know, six or one years ago. Punjabi government have been assassinated because uh, uh, there is a in, uh, Pakistani law which prohibits blasphemy, and he said that this blasphemy law uh, must be revised. And because of uh, his statement, some religious uh, his bodyguard killed him, and this shows that the issue of religious freedom in, in the places like Pakistan and so on is very political and. I think uh, this assassination showed that it is not just only theoretical matter, it is practical and vital matter. Uh, my friends from uh, Africa asked me to cite a verse from Quran which support uh, liberal democracy. Of course, I can't do that, and I don't need to do that. But just I want to cite a verse from Quran, I believe that which support human diversity in the, uh, this very inspiring verse, uh, Surah 49, verse uh, 13, Quran said that, All mankind, we created you from a single pair of our, of our male and female, and made you into nations and tribes, that you may know each other, not that you may despise each other. My friend's question, I think, is very, very important. Uh, we are discussing in the last few days about nation state, uh, whether nation state is compatible uh, with, uh, with uh, human liberty. Nation state, at the same time, we must also discuss about nation building. Uh, nation state wants to uh, create and uh, wants to involve in the activity of nation building. The activity of nation building is against individual liberty and human plurality. As much as nation building, I think, is against uh, individual liberty, I believe that religion building is also against uh, human liberties and plurality. Because religion and nation is not they are not something can be designed or can be constructed. We must let this issue to the society and. Uh, because religion is a human individual experience, and human experience is every time changing, it is very dynamic and fluid. So, we, as, we, the only thing we could do, we, we must look at the human, uh, how individual and society 
uh, experience their religion. So maybe something uh, comes out and religious, maybe we don't like this uh, religious experience, but this, uh, this does not mean that uh, I can't say that this religious interpretation, I didn't like it and let's change it, let's do another. I mean, if you do this, uh, you are opening the way to interfere uh, to the religious life of the people. So, uh, I personally, I despise to use the term of liberal Islam, moderate Islam, and so on. Uh, in the context of liberalism, I don't think uh, liberalism doesn't aim to, or any Muslim liberal doesn't, shouldn't aim to create a liberal Islam. The aim of Muslim liberals should be create, should struggle for the creation of the liberal state rather than liberal Islam. Uh, but, because, uh, but, so this is the, something different. Liberal Islam, uh, the, the adjective of liberal, the context of religion and the context of liberalism means something different. As I said, in the context of liberalism, the target is to change uh, state, not society or individual. But in the context of religion, when we look at the human uh, religious experience, generally we see there are two tendencies when they uh, interpret religion. First one, literal interpretation of religion. They, uh, according to literal interpretation, they try to interpret religion with, uh, according to authentic religious sources and authentic religious experience found them. Regarding ta uh, the uh, literal interpretation doesn't regard uh, time and place changes. But liberal interpretation of uh, religion regards uh, changes which occur in human life. So these terms, I think, must be uh, changed. Uh, about Islam and cartoon, I think Muslims have rich experience about uh, cartoon crisis like this. For example, in Pakistan, I remember uh, someone after independence wrote a book about fun laughing prophet. And the same thing about prophet sexual life and so on. Uh, so we must get used to it. People will, will continue to write these things in the future. The only thing is Muslims should do, instead of using violence, they must just, if they want to react, they just show their reaction or their protest in a peaceful way. What Muslim is doing, they are easily uh, provoked and then they go to street and make a lot of violent activity. So I think we must be more mature when, deal, when we deal with this issue. That's all I want to say. Thank you very much.